constantly use their innovative new products and services to make it easier and cheaper to use your cell phone while traveling abroad. And uh, following some feedback from existing customers, Ghost Sam has put together a list of the top five reasons, five as they say, of why people use their international SIM card abroad. One, retrieving lost luggage. Two, missing flights. Three, making arrangements after an accident or illness. Problems with hotel reservations. Or number five, being notified of news from back home. You can get more information at... uh, GoSim operates in 175 countries and regions around the 40 continents and over 400 networks. Check it out today at GoSim.com slash question mark Jiggy Jaguar. That's J-I-G-G-Y-J-G-U-A-R or just go to JiggyJaguar.com. Eric Cantor, yes, that guy. <laughs> if you're watching us on the old Ustream. Good old Eric Cantor. No, he's not a guest today on our program. (laughs) He's not doing a lot of radio today, from what I understand. Uh, Last night, the big news, the big shock, he was ousted. Uh, He basically lost to a guy by the name of Dave Bratt. Now, Dave Bratt... um, Basically, the situation with with this guy getting texts. Don't they know I'm on the air? Christ. Voicemails. Calls. Don't call me. Ugh. Gotta love it. You've got to... Love it. Deal with that in our next break. Eric Cantor quitting as majority leader. And um, 24 hours ago, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, uh, Eric Cantor thought he was cruising into re-election. Now he's stepping down as the number two Republican in the House. Cantor will resign as the House majority leader next month, according to three Republicans familiar with his plan. The Washington Post reports that uh, Cantor lost his primary Tuesday to Tea Party candidate Dave Bratt, capturing just 44.5% of the vote. This guy right here, Eric Cantor, lost. As House Majority Leader Cantor helped scuttle a grand bargain between House Speaker John Boehner and President Obama in 2011 to keep the government open and cut the deficit. In 2009, Cantor engineered unanimous House GOP opposition to Obama's stimulus plans. Basically what this is, is it's one of the guys that has caused some drama and some issues for the president. He is now the hell out of the way. <laughs> he is now the hell out of the way. So we can now, maybe we can we can get some, uh, some sense going out there in Washington. I doubt it. Because there's corporations that have bought all these guys... And I'll tell you, once once it all comes down, this Tea Party guy, this Dave Bratt, we're gonna find out he was financed by somebody somewhere. So don't don't even be telling me that uh, that this guy is. Oh, it's the Tea Party guy's coming in. There's gonna be some reports the next couple days that will that will tell everybody and their brother. Who's giving him money and how much they gave him? We're going to find out he's being financed by somebody somewhere. He's not innocent by any stretch of the imagination. Andrew Mangianoni is going to be our guest here in a few moments. Uh, So we're going to do this. We're going to take a uh, timeout. When we come back, we will talk to Andrew Mangianoni. Here on the World Famous Chicky Jake, what you do? 